guys, this is X3 Reunion. We're going to start off this game. It's a sandbox space sim. Uh, it's really focused around combat and trading and uh, building a fleet and I guess maybe even taking over the universe. We'll see. But uh, it's a cool game. It was released in 2005 for a PC and I got it on Steam for 10 bucks, so not a bad game. And there's also two other games with the X3 name. I don't know if they're expansions or what, but there's Terran Conflict and Albion Prelude. Uh, so maybe we'll check them out someday. Now hopefully I got all the settings right on this video. I apologize if I didn't. Uh, you might not be able to hear some of the music and voices very well if I didn't set everything up right. So I will kind of um, summarize what they're saying. Julian, thanks for coming. After I've got a squadron fresh out of flight school due on their first combat patrol. I'd like you to show them a few tricks. I know it's been quiet, but is that the most important thing you've got? The fleet's down to 30%, and we don't have many old pilots left to teach the new ones. Can you think of a more important task? You'll get a chance to put your life on the line soon enough. I just hope your father recovers soon to give us some insight into the car. Have you been to see him? Hasn't been time. You want to give me those patrol details? Julian. Maybe next time I'm in the system. I'll hold you to that. Bandana out. We're just going to skip patrol. over this. This is a mission briefing. Um, I know what to do. So, if you couldn't hear that guy... Uh, basically, he's telling you that you need to help uh, basically babysit some of his pilots because they're just very green Incoming and message. You know, they don't want them getting killed because they're at war with the cock. And I'm, I'm not joking about that name. That's literally what they called the um, antagonist alien race in this game. Or one of them, actually. They called them the cock. It's, uh, I think, K-H-A apostrophe A-K or something like that. Um, not a very good choice at all. It's hilarious. And in fact, we didn't get to see the intro video. I'm not exactly sure why it's not displaying. Gamma flight leader reporting. But... We're waiting to the west of the north gate, sir. Gamma flight leader. They keep talking over me. How rude. Um, Autopilot activated. But yeah, if if you got to see the intro video, it's it's really bad. Uh, the character models in this game aren't good at all. Even though a lot of the rest of the game is actually pretty beautiful for 2005. But uh, the character models leave something to be desired. And of course you have like this news video in the intro where this girl is talking about the cock invasion. So, you know. Totally, totally Ready hilarious patrol, stuff. Sir. I, Don't call me, sir. I couldn't believe my ears when I fired right. the game up Gamma and saw that. I actually Keep thought I bought a very bad game. Each other down, okay? yes, sir. So this you is... Got it. Then let's get to Cloud yeah, Base Southwest. Going. Gamma Flight, head to West Gate and scan for hostiles. Yeah, yeah. Commence patrol. So this is on extreme difficulty. And mostly what that means is you start with less stuff. Gamma. Leader. Which does make the game significantly Auto harder. At least in the beginning. Um, I think I read in the manual or something. Can you believe they stuck that... us in these buckets? Oh, Jamis got one of those new M4s. That's because Jamis can fly. You think they're gonna waste DC ships on you, local? Yeah, I think I read in the manual or something that you need to play on extreme to unlock the whole game or something something Show like that flight, gamma two. the thrust is a sticking again oh, Nick come on. The shot of spares do i look like your counselor loco no sir i think he <laughs> himself you see how he looks at nika hoping she'll give you a service eh loca wants her to lubricate his jump rod this isn't a picnic gamma flight let's stall that ship i've got car ships coming in they Go keep get into talking so we're going to go the other way. We're getting attacked. We're going to let them fight a little bit first. Because um, as I was saying on Extreme, we don't really have a very good ship. 
We don't have a lot of equipment on the ship or any of that stuff. This game's kind of like an RPG, even though it's kind of action arcade type game a little bit too. It's an interesting combination of ideas, but you really, really need a good ship and decent equipment. In fact, you want a good fleet, actually. We're gonna fire this sky up. We gotta be really careful here. Um, I have very little in the way of shielding. Plus, it's easy to crash into these guys. And we don't want to do that. As you can see, they're very slow. And as ships take damage to their holes, after you destroy their shields, they actually get slower. So, there's a very real possibility. And it's kind of ironic, really, that you can crash into the, <laughs> the enemy that you're kicking, it's, whose ass you're kicking. Um, unfortunately, they didn't drop anything. Watch your back next time, Gamma 3. You get fragged, you can't help anyone. Yes, sir. Sometimes defeated enemy ships will drop items, or the pilot might even bail from the ship. And you can take the ship over and add it to your fleet or sell it, which is pretty damn cool. And we will be building a fleet. In fact, after this little intro, we will be uh, going out and getting a hidden ship somewhere. And buying a hauler. No, so I can do some space light. trading to make some money. And the other ship will be, I'll either sell it or sell the buster that I'm in, which is what, that's what the ship I'm in is called. Entering system, red light. But, uh, anyway, so the hauler will have a fighter escort, which really won't help it much, honestly, because, um, okay, Gamma. Remember, a small band of pirates can do no quite a bit of damage, so we'll probably need two or three fighters. Sector. Then head to Southgate. At least to protect a hauler. Okay, keep them peeled. There's a and lot of There are there are a variety here. of classes of ships. There's even huge, huge capital ships that can unleash like swarms of fighters and stuff. So it's all very interesting. But this isn't. I gotta keep remembering to speed time up. Which is a very nice feature. Out here. Are you questioning fleet orders, Kim Ann? No, sir. What is the fleet? The fleet is always right, sir. That's right. The fleet is always right. And you love the fleet. I'm sure a lot of this banter is actually pretty funny. But I've heard it quite a bit. Because I was really kind of testing the game out and figuring it out. Here. You say it old iron. It's <laughs> gotten old to me. Doing? No, sir. Good. Because Van Dan is the best. Because I'm not even sure if you guys can hear it. this in one piece. And of course, something bad happens. Just flying peacefully through space. For some time. Oh, nothing's happening. Oh, well, yeah, we get attacked by a giant ball of cock. Break and engage. <laughs> That's uh, kind of weird that they do that, actually. And I really just... Why did they name them that? I just don't know what they were thinking. Oh no, one of them got exploded. Doesn't take much. Oh my god. What are they doing to me here? Really? Really, game? Oh my god, it was awful. We're lucky, though. We're, we're lucky we didn't, like, slam into them harder. Because you can really take massive amounts of damage from crashing. So I'm going to let these guys fight a little bit. It's not the heroic hero guy thing to do. But 
I'm not the heroic hero guy. So. Uh, this is now in firing range. Fortunately, everything's chaos now. And hopefully, we can dodge these ships. They're friggin' lasers, man. <laughs> We're gonna go this way. Oh. Yeah, it looks like this guy's on my six, so. I really have to blast him. Fortunately, laser. or uh, yeah. Fortunately, shields recharge, so. Then we get zapped a lot. Just as we start recharging. No aim. There we go. Well, that one's dead. I think we're in the clear now. I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna try to kill these guys. Oh, well, they did it. Now let's get you to cloud Why don't I try to kill these guys piece. though? Because you do get, get reputation at the trading station. for killing them. Cloud base southwest. Which is good. Um, you need that to buy things. You need it for other stuff, I imagine. You need it for the factions in this game to simply not hate you. That's, that's another cloud factor. So yeah, that's about it for this mission. We'll fly through the gate. What I'm going to do in the next portion of this episode, this is a pretty long portion, but um, in between off screen I'm going to go seek out that ownerless ship that we can just pick up. There's several in the game. I'm just going to grab one. I don't want to be too much of a cheater. And we'll do that and then I will go buy my hauler and we'll start making some money. So I will be back in a moment. So one of the first things I'm going to do is get myself a duplex scanner. So if you look here, this is my scan range. And any kind of ship or space station or anything like that will show up on the scanner as it enters that sphere. Um, it's really a good way to discover things. Right now we're sitting in Argon Prime. Uh, by the way, which is a uh, seat of the Argon uh, Federation or whatever it's called. So we're going to get that. I actually, we can actually open up the ship's uh, freight and look at what it has. I took off one of its lasers, mainly because the laser is not going to help it. And I am going to sell this ship anyway, so I might as well just strip it of anything that's even remotely useful. So we're going to dock at the station here. Hopefully we can sell it. We might not be able to because my reputation with Argon is pretty low. That's part of the extreme difficulty. So I might have to go sell a few batteries or something ridiculous like that. Which I'll show you guys as well. But the uh, duplex scanner is very useful. And it would really aid us in uh, finding the ship that we need. And it's just generally good to have. You should probably have it on all of your ships, really. Or even better yet, there's a triplex scanner. I think the normal scan range is, um, what is it? I think it's 10, 10 kilometers. And I think the duplex will put you up to... The impulse um, is 20 and the triplex is 30. So we're going to sell this beta ray impulse emitter if we can um, because there are trade restrictions. But if we can sell it, we'll get um, a pretty sweet amount of money. We'll get 4,600 credits. And we did it. Alright. So that's good. And selling things will actually make factions like you better. I think buying and selling from them 
Uh, generally blowing them up will make them aggro. And we can get our duplex scanner, so this is a win-win. There we go. Uh, I actually might mine some ore once we get our hauler ship. And now we got the upgrade too, that's good. And we'll take a quick look at our scan range now. You see it's much, much bigger, which is great. And if you can imagine a fleet of ships like that, you can actually find things very easily. There's some systems that you have you have no idea what's in them. So it's also a good early warning detection system for enemies and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, you know what, while we're at it, why don't we visit the Argonne Shipyard. Federal Argon Shipyard. Fly over there real quick. And did I target? Yes, I did. Dark autopilot on. Well, I don't know why I lost my Dark autopilot. There we go. I don't know what that was all about. So we'll fly over there real quick. We probably can't buy very many ships right now, if any. Uh, we don't, First of all, we just don't have the money. But we might not have the reputation. Anything that's red is something you can't buy because the faction doesn't trust you enough. Also, you might notice that there's actually stock on these ships, or on these stations. And the more they have of something, generally the cheaper it is. The less they have of something, the more expensive it is. Simple done. supply and demand. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of stuff we can't buy. You can even buy space stations and stuff. A lot of stuff we can't buy here. And we cannot buy the Mercury, which is basic hauler. Um, but yeah, they cost 199000 anyway. So I doubt we'd be buying one. But, yeah, so we'll come back to that, though. We'll be able to buy it after we sell this buster off. So I'll be back, and when I come back, we'll be uh, grabbing our new ship. This here is going to be our temporary home base. This is a system called Three Worlds. It's on the border of Argon Argonian. I guess it would be if anyone's familiar with uh, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> but it's on the border of Argon space. And um, it has a great asteroid field here, which we will be mining. It's also good because it's on the border of uh, Boron space. I guess uh, they named all their original races after noble gases. And this system here is Kingdom's End, which we will pay a visit to because I really like the music in this area. And this is also going to be the pathway to that abandoned ship I mentioned earlier in this episode that we want to pick up to make a little money off of. It is a long trip. I'll be cutting most of that out, though. And I did sell some stuff. But this ship's cargo hold is so small, and trading, using it to trade is very boring. So I didn't really bother to make a video of that. I did sell some uh, batteries which are produced at space stations, Entering system, Kingdom and Autopilot some space on. fuel, which is actually illegal. But anyway, I'm going to be quiet for a second and let this cool music play. We'll head for the gate. Gate logs drift.
boron shark. As you can see, the boron are very different from the Oregonians. And I'm actually going to be buying um, one of their ships, hopefully, in the near future. I think that's enough for the music, you guys get the idea. I will be setting out now to get that ship. After some exploring, I have finally found that ship I was talking about. Now this ship is a Harrier Sentinel. You can see it on the sector map right there just above the south gate at the bottom. The Sentinel itself is located in here. So as you can imagine, you have to go off the beaten path quite a bit to find this thing. It's really not that great either. But we can sell it and I think in fact that's what I am going to do. And it is a free ship so... Can't really complain there. Autopilot off. We'll have to approach this thing rather carefully. Oh, I'm going backwards. You guys get to see what the space uh, yeah the spacesuit looks like. <laughs> Here we are in our nifty spacesuit. That goes a whole twelve meters per second. Okay, I think I gotta get closer. Uh, this is why. I did not demonstrate docking at Harrier. the space station. <laughs> Sentinel. If anyone wonders. I think I'm doing something wrong here. I'm sure Harrier. of it. Harrier. Sentinel. Harrier. Sentinel. It's okay, we'll figure this out. Oh, there we go. And all we have to do is hit claim here. Ship computer control transferred. And then we should be able to enter it. Yeah, there we go. So this is our new ship. Yeah, so it's kind of cool looking. But it's not that great. In fact, it's not much better than the buster that I have. I'm going to get some, uh, I can get all the buttons down here. No aim. Ah, uh, here we go, yep. So, the sentinel here, we have a couple missiles, which is nice, some shields, an alpha particle accelerator cannon, and a few other things. Freight scanner, I didn't realize we had that. And um, a Singularity Engine Accelerator, that's the thing that basically speeds time up in the game. So it's really not much better. If I can get info on my own ship, that would no be nice. Way. I'm going to go on the properties here. Oh, you can self-destruct your, <laughs> your own ship, that's just great. Here we go, ship details. was the slowest M5 of its class. It was retired and replaced with the Teladi Harrier. Although the Harrier is more profitable, it has not improved on its speed very much. Yeah, so as you see, it's not very fast, it's not very powerful. Um, you know, it's kind of one of the lower end fighters, I guess. Which is basically what that buster is. At least it has some guns on it. But anyway, I am going to take these ships back home and give some orders to the buster and tell it to follow us. Command accepted. And we'll also tell it to protect me. Command accepted. That'll be good too. 
And I'm going to empty these ships of all their stuff. Shareholders and take them... Well, first I'm going to swap some stuff around. But I'm going to take them back to the um, dock at Argon Prime. Which is where we will be buying our Mercuries. So I will see you guys very shortly. Wow, this ship is just ridiculously slow. It's chugging along at 75, I think it's 75 meters per second. If, I, if I'm correct on that, I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's really slow. And um, I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to do the purchasing of the Mercuries and all that stuff in the next episode. Here we go, passing through a gate. So, with that said, I will be back very shortly. Entering system. We'll, we'll buy the Mercuries fortune. and we will start uh, basically just making money. And in fact, I'm going to put this sucker on autopilot back to Argon Prime. Well, you know what? First, I'm going to dock at a space station and save the game. <laughs> Maybe that's a smart idea. I'd hate to get halfway through the uh, through the um, galaxy here and end up dying and having to do all that over again. So, I'm going to get all that stuff done. I'll be back in the next episode. We'll start setting up our business so that we can make some money and buy some real ships. So, until next time, good luck and happy gaming.